Live from London, this is BBC News. Russia's President Vladimir Putin says there are no plans for his troops to capture Ukraine's second city, Kharkiv, but evacuations continue in the region. U.S. officials say trucks carrying aid into Gaza have begun moving ashore via a temporary pier amid concerns over humanitarian access. The head of UK water company Southwest Water apologises for the outbreak of a diarrhoea-type illness in South Devon due to a parasite found in the supply. And a pause in former President Trump's trial in New York. We find out why. Hello, I'm Anita McVeigh and welcome to BBC News Now. Three hours of fast-moving news, interviews and reaction. We start this hour in Ukraine as fighting continues around the city of Kharkiv after Russia made its biggest territorial gains in 18 months. Russia's defence ministry says it's taken control of 12 villages in the Kharkiv region in the past week. But in the past few hours, President Putin has said Moscow has no current plans to capture the city itself. Uh, but police are still going door to door in this town of Vovchansk to evacuate remaining residents as Russian shelling intensifies. These are the images from Vovchansk. Russia launched a surprise offensive there last week, with one analysis suggesting Russian forces have advanced by about 10 kilometers, creating a new front in the war on Ukraine. Meanwhile, a 16 and a half hour air raid alert has now been lifted in Kharkiv itself in the northeast. Our Ukraine correspondent James Waterhouse is in the capital, Kyiv, with the latest. This war has now firmly moved from 